Hoş geldiniz. Bugün ekili kofta yapıyorum. Today I'm making delicious ekili kofta. Also known as keba or stuffed meatballs, they are absolutely delicious. The coating of stuffing on the outside and packed with meat and walnuts and herbs on the inside, they are an absolute delight. And I cannot wait to share my version of this recipe with you today. So let's get started. Happy toasting! Okay, so to make our chili kofta, or our delicious keba, first and foremost, I started out with the filling. So I ground and sauteed some ground beef, and then to that I added some onion, just some white onion, and some red pepper, sweet red pepper. And then I kept on stirring it and sauteing it until the onion and the pepper were tender. And I added in all of my spices, some tomato paste, and then finally I added in my chopped walnuts and my chopped parsley. And now I have let it cool. I popped it in the freezer to let it cool a little bit faster, and it is ready to go. And it tastes so delicious. So I'm going to set this aside, and now we can start preparing the outside layer of our stuffed meat. So I have a large pan that I'm working with here, and what I've done is I've already pre-prepared one cup of dry bulgur. So to that I added two cups of boiling water. So I'm just going to take that and place it right. My pan here. Just dump it right in, and I love that about making bulgur is that really it's so so simple. You just add the hot water and cover it with like a plate or plastic wrap, and that's it. <laughs> All right, beautiful. And to that, I'm going to add some semolina, so about half a cup, and then I'm going to add my spice blend. So it's the identical spice blend that I used in making the inner filling for my meatballs. And so I'm using some red pepper, some thyme, some cumin powder, salt, and pepper. Let's sprinkle it right in. Gives it a nice flavor. And then I'm also going to add one whole egg. So bind everything together. A few tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And then also about a heaping tablespoon of tomato paste. All right, and now it's time for the fun part. So, I'm gonna clear my cutting board, make some space. <laughs> because now it's time to literally knead everything together. So I'm just going to incorporate it together. And I just wanna continue kneading until it's fully come together because it really needs to be the consistency of a dough because this is the outer shell of our delicious chili kofta. So they literally, mean stuffed meatballs <laughs> and I think it's a pretty good translation of this dish because you have the meat on the inside and then you have this delicious outer shelling. I've even heard some people compare it to corn dogs but I think that's a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> Alright so I'm going to continue kneading until it's come together nicely and then it'll be time to stuff the our filling. So. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've finished kneading my dough together, it's time to start stuffing our meatballs. So I've already got started making a few of my chili kofta, and what I do is I have a little bowl, I'm just going to wet my hands a little bit, and then take a little bit of the dough, and just kind of clump it together, almost like I'm making magic kofta. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. So I just take a handful and clump it together. And then I just dip one of my fingers in the water and then just poke a hole through the dough. Just being sure that I don't go all the way through and then just working it in round and round to kind of create a thinner piece. Almost like if you've ever done pottery, this is very, very similar to when you're on the pottery wheel. You don't want the clay to get too thin. Well, same, you also don't want the dough for the chili cook to get too thin, but you also don't want it to be too thick. Alright, so now I'm going to dip both of my fingers in there, and then it's time to start stuffing. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my filling and just put it right in, just like that. And then I just dip my fingers again in the water and then just pinch it together, just like that. Pinching together the seams. And then with a little bit more water, I just roll it back and forth. And 
then I pinch together the ends, you see, to create the Ichiniko Fashi. Beautiful. And then there we have it. So they are ready to go and ready to fry. Okay, so I've just taken the last two of my chili kofta out of the frying pan and I've already plated up a few of them here. As you can see, they're nice and golden and delicious. Mm, they smell amazing. <laughs> so, there we have our delicious chili kofta kebab or stuffed meatballs. So, thank you so much for checking out this video of how to make it. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you give it a try for yourself in your own home kitchen and let me know how it turns, turns out for you. And once again, thanks for watching and until the next video, I can't wait to see you next time. See ya!